Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day so far here in southeastern Idaho. We're up in Island Park. We are with my family. They are still sleeping away because it's 5.45 in the morning. But we are headed out on an adventure today. I'm taking my father-in-law and we are going with our good friend T-Pro, as we like to refer to him as. And we are going to go fish the south fork of the Snake River. Supposedly the salmon flies are still hopping around, which is crazy because typically salmon flies on the south fork is more first of June and it is July 6th today. But Tom has floated this section of the south fork the last two days and has absolutely crushed with salmon fly. So if you guys don't know what salmon fly is, it's a big giant dry, dry fly on top of the water and that's always fun. So we're just waiting for Tom. We're gonna go catch some fish today. So here's the deal is most of the people going down these banks are not going to be hitting it that far. So they're not going to get those fish. Only the people who put it there are going to get the fish. So if we try hard to do that, we'd probably get the fish. Guys, okay. we're back with him. The man, the myth, the legend, T-Pro. Thank you. <laughs> Today we got lucky and got a spot in the right section of the South Fork River up here out of Swan Valley. And I think I've already seen two salmon flies in the parking lot and a little Yellowstone fly. And they shouldn't start flying anytime soon, but there's probably a bunch from yesterday. And I think it could be epic salmon fly bite. Heard it out of his mouth, guys. Could be epic. It's all, It always could be, I guess. Guys, let's welcome Mark back to the program. You guys oh, yeah. remember Marcus? Yeah. Hot I'm, shot fly Hot guy. shot, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna bend the hooks over this time and maybe land a few fish. Huh? <laughs> I'm putting bigger hooks this time for him. <laughs> guys, this is my father-in-law. Yeah, we floated with him last year. Same same crowd. Yeah. Us and T-Pro. It was quite a crew. Quite the crew. Anyway, so we here we are back in um, southeastern Idaho, about ready to hit one of my favorite stretches of river I've ever fished. It's called the canyon section in the South Fork. And uh, typically the salmon flies are a big deal on this river, but typically it's early June, first two weeks of June and then they're over. But Tom floated this the other day, said they were everywhere, and continued to have an epic day catching fish on big dry flies, big salmon flies. So that's the plan today. Well, the birds are out flying, so that's a good they're sign. They're trying to pick up our flies. Yeah, they're trying to eat our salmon flies, they're but it's always a good sign when the birds are flying. It means they're out eating, and they eat the same thing the fish do. Oh, he's still ways back there, okay. So I don't have to worry about crashing. Marcus is hooked up. It's a native. Looks like a native. Ooh. You drag. Keep that pressure coming to the right to drag it into the soft stuff. Okay, now just keep reeling a little bit. It's keep definitely not control. a trout. <laughs> it's not? No. Nope. Look like a nice cutthroat. Good job, buddy. <laughs> See how that, I told you I didn't want your net getting too wet. Thank you. Yeah. Are, those big ones are hard on my net. I appreciate that. If we can fit him in. Mark it, hooked up again. If we can fit him in the net. Well, my That's boy. my hooked up voice. There you go, Tom. Now oh, you're getting it. That. Oh. It's a sideways biter. It's really hard to get him like that. What's on my face? Stonefly. That's what we're after, guys. That's a little one. Look at that. Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, premature release. Good job. Good job like on it? that. Hey, Can't even... hey great work. <laughs> Can't even yeah. tell I had him on my hand. <laughs> no, I don't smell him either. <laughs> Almost. Hey. There we oh, go. What a pretty fish. Gorgeous color. Sure. Okay. I saw him come right off the bank and eat that. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, first trout to the boat. Beauty. Here we go. Yeah. See ya. Mark on the board again. Is it Mark's a whitey? I think it's a whitey. What's the chances here of a whitey? Well, I thought we got past the whiteys and now we're just getting trout. You took our white whitey flies off? Sure fighting pretty good. Hard to turn their head when you got a look like that. Looks like a troop. It's got some spots on it. It's got a we got a contender here. It's a trout. It Later. looks small it's in small. that net, but you got to remember this net is three feet across. So. <laughs> looks small. He, he's a strong fish. Yeah. yeah. That you was see, a good when one. he took off, he was yeah, like he was fighting. This work. He's on that big rubber leg. Oh, he street. is. Yeah, we got the big rubber leg. This beautiful him. cutty out. That is a. That's a good fish. Cheap fish. Woo, pretty. 
Nice work. You yeah, have been giving that X, X uh, that uh, yeah. Sage X rod quite a workout today. Check out this beauty. Ooh, I saw him come up and eat on top, and then I put my rubber leg right, right where there. he was, and he ate it. So they're one of those see the fish, catch see the, the fish, fish, catch the fish, like Casey Butler does. That's what I do. How about yeah. that? You got that rod broke in. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what, I, you probably just need a new one after today. I'll, I'll take that one, and then we'll get you another one tomorrow. What a pretty fish. On the dry. <laughs> Still there he goes. Uncle Tom. Nice fish. Giant whitey for Mark. Little whitey magnet. So he's got this mouth that only a mother would love. Yeah, that's pretty gross. There he Lots of blue fish. Fish. So, I've said this before if you've watched some of our fly fishing videos, but the best part of the day when you're fishing with Tom, lunch by far. Mm -hmm. Subway salad. Definitely better than the fishing. Yeah, way better than the fishing and way better than the company, that's for sure. Yeah, conversation's kind of tough, but it's just easy. Conversation's tough. Yeah, we're just going to keep our heads down. It's about eat. the only time of the day that Tom isn't running his mouth. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. There's just something in there you, mm -hmm. you just can't tell. Oh, I'm just kidding, man. I really enjoyed floating in the river with you and learning all your wisdom. Well, we've got about 10 miles to go, so. Oh, wow. Man, we're gonna if you're tired of me now. A lot more way. wisdom headed this way. Mm -hmm. Mark's getting down on a 12 inch sub back there. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. We've been finding salmon flies here in the last yes. two miles, it seems like. It's crazy. You find the birds, which we have found, and the salmon flies are here. One just flew over my head. Oh yeah. Another nice cutty. Salmon fly on the south fork. Salmon fly on the south fork. Suck. Look at that beautiful fish. That does not suck. Good job, buddy. Something about catching a fish on that giant bug. It's pretty cool. Crazy, that isn't it? Suck. Yeah. Another nice cutty. Yeah. Got him. Wow. Another pretty fish. That's why people travel so far because it's loaded with just gorgeous fish. And we did pretty decent too. Look at that fish. Pretty fish. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, what a fish. Look at that fish. What a fish. Whoa. You just ate that what fly. What a pretty man. fish. That fly is right there. Marsh man, he did. Drop, he gobbled buddy. that right up. Can't even get it out Big of the dry. Your mouth. There you go. Look at that thing. Look, Look at that, that fish. That sucker. Huh? Let's take a picture of that. Okay. Nice work, Good Mark. spot I'll here. I'll take that. Look at this. this is what the dry fly looks like when you're float fishing it. It's huge. So it's so fun to see these fish come up and eat it. That's a good fish. Great fish, man. Beautiful. Work, man. Oh. There's another one. Check okay. him out, huh? He goes right past. Extend the arm. Extend the arm. <laughs> yeah, that makes him look a little yeah. bigger. Nice fish, man. It is a great fish. Let him wow. go. Wow. Good job. Sweet. Good work, Mark. Jeez, how many of you caught on purple today? All of them. All right, we're going to take a little uh, break from catching some fish. And Tomas here is going to show us an easy, quick and easy knot. Because he's been yelling, yelling at me all day about how long it takes me to tie my flies on. There's a lot of good fishing knots. The one I use is called the Uni Knot or Duncan's Loop. And I think that you can tie it 100% every time is more important than what kind of knot it is. And the fact that you can tie it quick. So all I need to do is poke the eye. Sometimes I can do that. And then what I do with my, my fly to make it easy for me is I make my line into a capital N like that. And I put the fly in the top first part of the N. And then I just take this tag and wrap it over the other two. Once, twice, three times and then I grab that tag and I grab my two main lines and I just slide the tag away and then I get them wet and cinch them and then I just cinch that right to my thumbnail in front of the eye of the hook so I got a nice little loop in there and that's a pretty it's like a 90% knot there's nothing wrong with that knot and I use it for just about everything I use it to connect two lines together I use it to tie my flies on uh, building all kinds of rigs that's that's a knot I use seems fine this uh, Tom, this T Pro tep Tech Tip was brought to you by Ugly Hats. <laughs> Could you get my shoe <laughs> and ugly shoes? <laughs> oh, those are awful. We, this bird tried to eat Mark's salmon fly, and he hooked him. It's 
So we're gonna try to get this bird unhooked and safely on his way. That's crazy. He tried to swipe the salmon fly out of the air. Whoa, come here, bud, we're gonna help you. <laughs> Open your hands. <laughs> Beat me up if you can. Come on, Bubba. Might just be better to cut the line. Well, we got to get him untangled. You see that? It's not going to be. I see the fly. So, the way I've done this in the past, we can use the deck of the boat. You'll have to move this fishing rod out of the way. What we do is put him on the deck and then cover him with the net. With the net? Yeah, so he can't get us. Wow, look at that. It's right there. The hook is right there. See that? Mm -hmm. bar that's good though. Keep your head straight, dude. I don't want you to get hooked. Okay. Pull the string out. Okay. There you go, bud. There he goes. How do you feel about yourself, Mark? Well, you know, you've seen me shoot pheasants. You know, it couldn't be on purpose. <laughs> so you know, it couldn't be on purpose. That was, I've never done, never seen that happen. I actually caught a duck when I was a kid oh, with a, a lure. Here, stop, stop, stop. Oh no. Yeah, I caught a duck when I was a kid. And uh, a baby duck. And the mama, we were trying to get it off, and the mama duck was attacking my dad. Well, I saw that water just kind of good watching, good. but not definitely not out here trying to hurt these birds. So that was, it was a safe rescue. Mark just hooked into a nice fish. Good looking fish, Marcus. Ooh, he's a fat boy, isn't he? He's fatty. Look at that one. Looks like a rainbow trout. Oh, rainbow. Man. That's the first rainbow we've caught today. It's clean though, isn't it? Yeah. Shouldn't have ate that. Look at him now. Look how fat he is for his size. Yeah. Well, that's a big fat for a little 13, 13 inch. Inch. He's got a lot of girth on him. You doing the old Tyler here? Yep. How am I doing? No, Thomas. I am? <laughs> yeah, you're not letting him hold his fish. No, oh, you're don't good. touch the fish. <laughs> All right, he's back. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey. Great fish, hey, man. Uh, welcome to the South Fork. First time out here? Yeah, yeah I love it. Love it. I'm glad to share it with you. It's good. It's pretty cool. Look at this, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right in that sea, man. How cool is that? That is awesome. It's a brownie, huh? Okay. Yeah. Here's a good Tom, fish. Uh -huh. Look at him. Wait, hang on a minute. There it goes. Okay. He's coming around this side. Okay. Cutty hybrid, maybe. You saw a brownie? Yeah. Butter. Oh, uh, that is a brand new one. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Yeah, wow. And the hook's out. Oh, wow. Wow. How big is he? How big is that fish? Big. Oh, yeah. It's dark. He is. That's got, he's good looking. That's a big fish. That is a great fish. Wow, that, that is awesome. Tell me how awesome that is. Let's get him back in the water. Let's, okay, turn He's ready. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh yeah. There he is. There he He's goes. He's gone. It's a fish of a freaking season right there. That's awesome. It's a little crack like this big in this cliff. Casted it right into him. Boom. Hammered it. Not bad, Butler. Not bad? Not bad. That was rad. <laughs> that was rad. All right. A little hard do on another the net. one? A little hard on the net, but I don't mind. It's okay. <laughs> I wear Tom's nets out. Yeah. Catch a 22 inch fish like that on a giant dry fly. Single dry. Single dry. It's insane. Dry or die, right? Fly on a line. Dang. <laughs>